What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard with another Division 2 video. Today is Thursday, March 18th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. So over the past month or so, I've been getting some messages from not only new players, but players who are just returning to the game asking me what's the best way to farm for Lady Death. So today, my friends, I'm going to show you a few of the ways I've been able to pick up that weapon. Now, if you happen to be new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really, really helps the channel out. We are going to jump right into it today, my friends. So when you're farming for any exotic in the game, you have a lot of different options. The first of which being you can farm missions. Now for me, because that's a little more time consuming, what I try to do is look for missions I'm really proficient at. Now this happens to be the targeted loot for today, March 18th. So what I'm doing is for me, I'm looking at three missions in particular. I'm looking at Lincoln Memorial, I'm looking at American History Museum, and I'm also looking at Viewpoint Museum. The main reason for that is because I can get through those three missions pretty quickly. However, you can see the SMG is not the targeted loot at any of those locations, but I notice it is at the Federal Emergency Bunker, which is another one that you can get through pretty quick. So the main thing you want to do if you are farming for an exotic in a mission is just change the difficulty in between attempts. I don't know why, but I've heard from a lot of you out there and you guys have seen my previous videos. It does seem to improve the drop chance. The order of which you attempt these difficulties does not matter. You could try on normal, then go to hard, then challenging, then heroic, then back to normal. But I would say expect to do at least five or six in a row and hopefully one of the weapons will drop. Now moving on to what happens to be my favorite way to farm for Lady Death in the game, and that is when the SMG is the targeted loot in the open world, because it just gives you more options. You can do control points, and you can also look for named bosses throughout the map. Now the footage you're looking at now is from a few days back when the SMG was the targeted loot in New York. And actually, really quick before I forget, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to show you the named boss locations throughout DC and New York as well. Now, for those of you that may be unaware, named bosses are on a 30 minute timer and that's throughout the entire game. New York, DC, it doesn't matter. So once you engage with a named boss, regardless of the outcome, whether if you, you know, beat them or they beat you, it's immediately put on a 30 minute timer before another one will show up. And one thing I'd like to mention really quick is you can see that my world difficulty is set to heroic. However, these can drop on any difficulty whatsoever. Now, I had to go back into the vault, find some old footage, but I will be showing you towards the end of the video a few of the drops on other difficulties as well. Another great option you have when farming for Lady Death is going after bounties, like as many as you can. And yesterday, the SMG was a targeted loot in the area where I happened to have a lot of bounties, so I just hit them up over and over again. I think this happened to be my fourth or fifth bounty in a row, and one thing I want to mention really quick is that it's all RNG. You're going to have good days and bad days. I hear from players that get like three or four exotics in one day, and then it's like a dry spell for like a week and a half, so just remember the most important thing to do is be consistent. The next thing I'd like to talk about as we move on is keep in mind that exotics can drop from any NPC at any time. You'll see in a second I'm on a mission, I wind up hitting some red bar, he drops an exotic. Now it's not the exotic SMG I'm looking for, but still you always want to keep a lookout. And I know this is something I say in all of my videos, but to the new players out there, when you're playing in a group and you're done with a mission, do not just take off. So many times other agents want to share stuff with you, so you always want to keep a lookout. One thing I'd like to mention as we move on is keep in mind when you're farming for an exotic SMG, one of three can drop. It can be Lady Death, it can be the Backfire, and it can also be the Chatterbox. Now the chatterbox has to be crafted before it will be in the general loot pool. If you do not have that as yet and you'd like me to make a video, please let me know down below. Moving on to another option you have when farming for any exotic SMG in the game, you can go to the summit, you can set your targeted loot for SMGs and just hope you get lucky enough. You can see here I was in a group and this happened within the span of like three floors. So again, it's all RNG, but sometimes you can get lucky. So the footage you're seeing now is from another one of my characters from a while back. You can see him at a control point, it's on heroic difficulty, and this is one of the most efficient ways to farm for any exotic in the game. 
The reason for that is anytime you do a heroic control point, you're going to face two named bosses before you complete the thing. So if you have the ability to do so and the SMG happens to be the targeted loot in an area where you have a control point you like running, I would say hit that thing up over and over again. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you do not need to be on heroic difficulty in order to get exotics in the game. You can see here, I'm running challenging, I'm in New York, one dropped from a random heavy that was walking around, and in fact, I hear from so many different gamers out there that have better luck on challenging than they do heroic. And one thing I want to make sure I mention is keep in mind, you're looking at a highlight reel. This is from dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of gameplay. So it's not like I'm getting these every day all the time. It is a grind, but it is definitely worth it, especially for this weapon. And as I start to wrap this video up, I'm going to cut to some footage that I shot this morning. And again, we know that the SMG is now the targeted loot at the Federal Emergency Bunker. I ran this thing about five times in a row, changed the difficulties, and unfortunately, no drop whatsoever. However, at the beginning of the video, you saw that I was able to get the weapon twice over the last two days using different methods. So the most important thing to do, in my opinion, is make sure you manage your time properly. And I say that because it's so easy to get burnt out on a mission or a certain control point or whatever it is. So when you're farming for really anything in this game that you're really looking for, I suggest finding a place you're really proficient at, you can get through quick, and that will definitely up your odds. On that note, my friends, I'm going to wrap this video up. You know, I wish I had a guaranteed way for you to get Lady Death in the game, but these are the most successful methods I've had so far, and I sincerely hope they help you out as well. Most of you know by now that one of my main goals here is to help gamers out in any way that I can. And part of that is building this community where we work together. So if you have any tips or tricks or ways you've been able to get Lady Death, please leave them in the comment section down below. As always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support. I mean, the Division 2 community has built this channel. I can uh, It's just been absolutely amazing. I love the family we're building here, and I cannot wait to continue to bring you content for this game, other farming videos, news videos, all of that good stuff to look forward to, my friends. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Coming after me. I don't know what I did to make them so mad. You have to stop them.